Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game. So I think that's what got us going. We also have digital live sticks play-by-play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sportcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs. Recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check our site at sportscastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, broadcasting to everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight, that time, finally a goal for the Stampede. We have professional videographers using high definition modern day cameras, color analysts, and play by play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials, the team, club sponsors, and us. Plus, we do pre-game game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show. Marion Centric, my name's... But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night at Kane's win. Battle down the stretch, 48 to 40. Hi, I'm Kramer. Um, 50... A 1500 back. Every your podcast here at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us be your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. The other team slashed me, took the opportunity, saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense, and Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2-on-0. A shot, and a goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportssolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sport Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who broadcast or stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tip, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of advertising sponsors during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics. And we have watermarks. Finally, sportscasts can create a for you or answer. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. 
And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Live Stream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world.
Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so... I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight, that time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. Well, my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. The other team slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway at 2-0. A shot, and a goal! So, 3-3. Three three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, 
We also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another production of SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Kyle Smith, alongside Eric Ratchie on videography duties, welcoming you to beautiful Loyola University, Hoyne Field, as Chicago House AC looks to protect their home turf against Chicago City SC. The USL2, the USL2 Chicago City team, they won on Friday night 4-2 over their rival in Springfield Athletic Sporting Club. So we'll see what the Midwest Premier League Chicago City team can do against uh, Chicago House AC. We saw Chicago House last year. They had a lot of ties. Looking to improve that with some victories. Last game of the season, we were at IIT where they dominated Berber City with a 3-0 win. For them to win, watch out for Spazov. He's number 11. Goes by Gio, even though on the roster it's listed as Georgie. He had two goals in that win over uh, um, uh, over Berber City. Apologize. He actually had two assists and a goal. Um, and he was fantastic in that game over Berber. So he's going to be a guy to look out for if you're Chicago City. For Chicago City, Baumgartner, as well as A.J. Franklin. Franklin played on Friday. He was phenomenal. Uh, he had the fourth goal against Springfield in route to that 4 nothing win. So we have two minutes to go, and then we'll have some soccer action. We'll go to break, and then the National Anthem coming up next here on SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Good evening, everybody, as the soccer match is about to start in about 42 seconds. Chicago House in the black 
in the light blue will be Chicago City. Chicago City, they're from the west side. They play at Lions for Hope Sports Complex. Chicago House AC, they're like a north northwest Chicago team. They're going to play one match tonight here in Loyola, and then the next four are going to be at DePaul College Prep, home of, uh, oh, forget their mascot, but uh, home of uh, DePaul College Prep, they will play uh, their four other home matches. It's a beautiful night for soccer. It's a very sunny night. It'll, the sun will go down after 8 o'clock. Not a lot of wind today. In fact, one of the few windy days that we've had all spring long. So not a lot of wind resistance on the ball. A.R. Smith, i got to watch out for in addition uh, to George Geo Spazoff. See if he can get that ball past the end line into the back of the net. For Chicago House, they're a very good team just finishing. Got a lot of ties last year that cost them a chance to win the uh, Heartland Conference. So for them to improve this year, finish. Get those wins um, and be very uh, strategic of when they put their subs in. But here we go. 10 on 10, 11 on 11 if you include the goalies. Halterman between the pipes uh, for Chicago City SC and Rojek between the pipes uh, for Chicago City SC. Captains today, A.R. Smith, and for Chicago City AC, it'll be Sidney Warden. The away team, of course, takes the ball. And looking to get a victory on the road is Chicago City SC. Other notable starters, it'll be uh, for Chicago City AC. Between the pipes is Halterman, of course. Also Aaron Nguyen, Kiki Avalos, Shannon Seymour, John Makovietsky, and Jack Kramer. For Chicago City SC, Christian Baumgartner, Tra Charlie Crockford, Gaetano D'Argento, Justin Darlar, Dar, Darlarge, A.J. Franklin, Adrian Lara, Omar Ramadan, Andrew Schweinart, Max Vieira, and of course the captain, Sidney Warden. The text line's open. Your favorite MLS, FIFA World Cup, or college soccer memory, text 330-957-7653. All FCC regulations do apply. And, of course, if there's something wrong on the broadcast, just go on to the YouTube live chat. We'll get it fixed for you. 28 watching now on this beautiful soccer night between Shy City and Chicago House. It is quite a fun complex here in Loyola as you have homes right behind it and street parking right next to the complex. It's very much a community type of soccer pitch as they try to get the community to come to the local soccer matches. Loyola, of course, in the Missouri Valley Conference. Isaiah Galagos Munoz, excellent soccer player. One of the guys to watch out for. He's listed as 28 on the roster, but he's wearing 29 tonight. And Sidney Warden will officially start the match as Chicago City looking to get a crucial road win here in the Heartland Conference of the Midwest Premier League. 45 minutes of soccer, two minutes of extra time. As it's played by Chicago City's goalkeeper in Rojek. As Rojek will kick it up past midfield. And now played that time by Vieira. Off the sideline, Chicago City. Reading it well that time was no win. But still at midfield. Now played by Smith. And losing it is, Sh is Shy House as they look to play it in their own territory. Back to Halterman. As Halterman sets it up for Waddington. Waddington. And he sends it over that time to Weedor. Past the foot of Munoz. And now played by Chicago City. As they'll reset in their own territory from the midfield to the goalkeeper. As now playing will be Rojek. Rojek 
Sending it over to his defensive teammate. Now to the midfield. Playing it is Kramer. As Kramer sends it back to Halterman. Halterman with a bad kick. Trying to keep it in and won't. And a crucial mistake uh, by Halterman as Chicago City on the attack inside the 40 meter. Off the chest. Now in the box. No look kick. Not able to play at that time was Avalos and a throw in 10 meters closer to the goal. Pretty decent throw in. No push off. We play on. The intended target that time was Warden. Kicked out again as Chicago House struggling to maintain possessions. Another throw in. This time near the sideline on the far side. The Chicago House deep in their own territory. It was played that time by Alzate. And now Chicago City's Justin Darlarge will play it. Closer and closer they get to the goal. Fakes the pass. Now both hands on the ball. Off the chest. Kicking it in front. A header. Good job on defense that time by Widor. And then kicked out that time uh, by Galagos Munoz. Left footed kick. The intended target, and it uh, was Alzate, and now over inside Chicago City's end. Played by Chicago City, as was played that time by Darlarge. Now to the goalkeeper in Rojek, as the defense has it. Kick straight up. Chai City off the head. And the goalkeeper plays it for uh, Shy House. Joel is strata between the pipes, not Halterman. And now out to the sideline. Ooh, that one's going to sting in the morning right off the knee. And not only that, does it go off your body and you feel it in the morning, but it's also a throw-in for Chicago House. So a double whammy against Shy City. Throw-in coming up for Chicago House. Off the head. At midfield now. At the Loyola logo. Stolen away by Chicago House. And here they come, led by Nguyen. Sending it over to Ia Marino. Shot! Partially deflected, and we go the other way with it. Shy City at midfield, falling to the turf. And it's a free kick awarded for Shy City. The win was the culprit, and he'll have to back up 10 meters. First free kick of the match. It's awarded via Shy City, and Chicago City will play to midfield. Now we're over that time to Lara at the near sideline to Dargento as he feeds it up front. Off the chest, good pass over to Crockford. And it's kicked out on the crosser at pass. Now played by Estrada. Sent over to the far sideline. And now at midfield, off the chest, Chicago City steals. It's been a pretty, pretty even match thus far. But Chicago City has been on the tack a little bit more than Chicago House. Now at midfield, it's played by Finnegan. Partially deflected pass, and now at midfield again. Throw-in coming up for Chicago House. Off the foot, Seymour had it. Now Chicago House gets the steal again. It was off the foot of Waddington. Now still at the near sideline, trying to keep it in in Chicago House. City steals. Here comes Chicago City. Good pass out in front. A lot of good passes maintaining the possession. Another couple of meters gained by Chicago City, but House with the steal. Played right now by Avalos. And finding Seymour. Off his right foot, Seymour. 
keeps it on the ground, looking to steal his city, leading the way is Baumgartner as he sends it back to Rojak. Up in the air, Seymour heads it over to a teammate as Chicago House on the attack again. At the seventh minute, it's no score. Feeding it in front, can't get it in the air, and Chicago read it all the way. Now House with it. City looking to clear, and they do, and a throw-in coming up. Ia Marina will take it. It's been a pretty... Uh, well-played soccer match by both teams. Just one free kick awarded. Both teams avoiding the fouls here in the eighth minute. Throw in. Off the body. Feeds it to himself. Trying to dribble away from the D. And there's a swarm of defenders around him. Great pass. Setting it up in front. No one home. And then headed away easily by Chicago City. Ball still straight up. City gets it out that time by Finnegan. House with it. Left-footed kick. Right on net. Off the fingertips of Rojek. Corner kick coming up for Chicago House. Corner kick coming up, headed up. Chicago City looking to clear. Chicago House with it now. Over to the sideline. Played by Ian Marino. Chicago House maintains the possession. Over to the sideline, feeding it to Seymour. This will be a pseudo corner, crossing it up on the crosser. And read easily that time by Rojak. Chicago House, constant pressure the last couple of minutes. We'll see how Chicago City adjusts. City with it, Dargento on the pass as he feeds it over to Finnegan. Off the foot, and then headed back over. Off the chest, Waydor with it. Left-footed kick, good pass to Seymour off his foot. Give and go play, Chicago City read it. Off the body, now at the sideline. Chicago City with it, Finnegan on the pass. Back to Finnegan, falling down to the turf. Holding his body in disgust that time is Dargento. Free kick awarded for City. Out to the sideline. On the defense is Avalos. As Chicago City taking their time. Pass midfield. As Chicago City lost a couple of meters after receiving the pass. Off the foot of Crockford, now to the far sideline. Feeding it back to the sideline. And it's now out of bounds. Letting that one go out of bounds that time was Dar Large. And now played out to the defender in Lara. Laura taking his time and then sending it over the sideline to Dargento. Good move by Dargento as he gains meters. Up in front, off the foot. And deflected out by Chicago House, but they can't keep the possession. Finnegan, up in front, one-timer. Loose ball, rebound try, and a goal kick coming up. Couldn't finish the play. Uh, that time was seven. Good feed out in front, though. And Chicago City with the best goal chance of the night thus far. Now played right now by 24. Has a good lead pass. Trying to deke his way out of the defense. In the box, blocked, second chance. Loose ball, House looking to clear. Chicago City looking for either a foul or a handball. Either way, they're not calling it. And Chicago House will play advantage. Chicago 
Chi City, Chicago City has had some chances, but they just can't get it on net. Out to Vieira, one-on-one -on -one shot, big time save by the goalkeeper in Estrada. Goal kick again for Chicago City. Got a little bit too much on that corner. Chance, it's in. Oh, I thought it was in the net. How did that not go in? A header off the post and then back to the goalkeeper in Estrada. What a break for Chicago House. If you look at that again on replay, whew, what a break for Chicago House. I thought he got too much on the corner. But it went to an attacker and the striker headed it, went off the fingertips of Estrada and almost into the back of the net. As you watch it again, header off the post, somehow stayed in. My goodness, what a break for Chicago House. Seymour sending it up. The intended target that time was A.R. Smith. As the official blows it dead. From one defender to the other, it's an interesting pitch where the sun is right in the camera's eyes, where you get shade and then not uh, so much shade. Kind of like, you know, the shadows that you get for a four o'clock baseball game. The pitcher's not in the shadows, but the batter is. So it creates problems trying to read that fastball versus a curveball. Meanwhile, Chicago City with it. Off the foot of Schweinert. Three defenders around, falling to the turf. Oh, I don't know. It might have been a flop, but Chicago City saying that he was pushed to the ground and Finnegan gets the courtesy of a free kick coming up for Chicago City. There were bodies around him as you look at that on replay. So there's bodies around him. Good pass. Yeah, he got the foot. Now, did he get ball before foot? It's such a bang-bang play. And that's a key free kick as it's close enough to the goal, you could try to kick it over the wall into the back of the net. Both goalies have been good, not great. There have been a couple of mishaps. See if Estrada can make up for that somewhat mistake earlier off the corner kick. Trying to get it over the wall. Oof. But gets in the way of the shot. And a break for Chicago City out of his last touch by Chicago House. Throw in coming up. It'll be Dargento as he feeds it over to 24. 24. Kicking it over to the sideline. As he gets it up in the air and then it eventually goes on the feet of Baumgartner. Feeding it over to Lara. Laura receiving the pass, and then Baumgartner receives it. Now looking up front to Dargento. It is last touch by Chicago House. If it goes out, it'll be Chai City's ball. City with it. Double team, falling to the turf, looking for the call. What are they going to issue here? The ball went out. If they indeed call free kick, which looks to be the call, it would be a pseudo corner and you'd be three meters closer to the goal. The problem is the wall is right in front of you. Now what you could do is try to get help where a guy comes from behind you as the trailer and then he can kick it on net as a crosser pass. But no trailer right now as it'll be up to Crockford to get it through the wall. He has no help behind him. Estrada between the pipes. Seymour, one of the wall people. In front, bad pass. Shy House easily steals it. Chicago House on the ball. Was there a push off from Smith? And the Chicago City away fans cheer up with their applause of the call. Still at midfield. Still no score. Chicago City's had more chances than Chicago House. 
House AC looking for a much needed tie. Over to the sideline, Dargento. Woo, what a move by Dargento. Gets separation and then the crosser pass. Header and an easy save for Estrada. House AC with it now. One hopping kick. Redwell and off the chest of Dargento. Now at midfield. Off the feet. As here comes Chicago City. Feeding it over to Finnegan. He obtains the pass. Ready to a step over move. Forced to the outside. In front. Chicago House defends it well. Kicked out. Now onto the feet of Seymour. Seymour on his left foot. Looking up that time to spaz off, but stolen away by Chicago City. On the play that time was Lara. Chicago City, dominating time of attack. If you're wondering what time of attack means, past the 50 meter with possession of the ball, it's clearly been advantage City. Now on the feet of Dargento. If anything, Chicago House would love to have the tie. Win would be nice. But the tie versus the loss would be crucial down the stretch. <laughs> Taking his time with it. Right footed kick, slow moving one obtained at the sideline. As Estrada tells his teammates, get in the way of it, my ball. And then an underhand pass to his defensive teammate. Back to Estrada. Could not grab it since it was kicked by his teammate. Up in the air, headed over as Chicago City keeps it in. Smith with it, 24, as well as uh, Finnegan were there to double team. It was last touched by Chicago House. Ian Marino will be on the throw in. Up in the air it goes, hopping ball off the head. Chicago City steals. Ian Marino defends, and it was last touched by Chicago City. Throw in to the sideline. And kicked out that time by Vieira. Another throw in. Ian Marino will do it again as Shy House inches closer to the goal. Intended target that time in Avalos. Looking to feed it in front. Who touched it last? And Chicago City going into their defensive set. So it'll be a goal kick set piece for Chicago House. It's a beautiful complex here at Hoyne Field. Crosser off the corner, in front, loose ball, and volleyed forward by Chicago City. House obtains the ball, kicked forward that time by Nguyen. But no one touched it, so a goal kick coming up for Rojek. Once again, your favorite soccer memory, you can text it to 330-957-7653. And we have a clock issue, as after 20 minutes, the clock went off accidentally. We play on. Pass midfield. Left-footed kick up in the air, headed forward. Chicago City on the attack. Stop and start move. Crosser. Off the feet, he was feeding at that time to Warden. Now to the midfield, headed up, straight up, over to 24, 24. And kicked over to midfield. Good job on the pass as he looks that time for Laura. Laura right-footed kick. And it somehow got through. Now feeding it over to Finnegan. As Finnegan fell down, goal kick coming up for Estrada and the Shy House defense. Feeding it over that time to Smith. 
up in the air. As it's played by Chicago City, Rojack kicks it straight up, little chip kick, played at the sideline. Pass midfield, here comes Chicago City. No look pass by Schweinert. Now feeding it to the sideline. Chicago City looking for the first goal of the match. Good lead pass, but Chicago House was even better on D. 24 with it. Hesitation move to the sideline. And it's kicked out, but it'll be a corner for Chicago City. Chicago City SC from Lions Hope for Sports Complex. Up in the air, headed away by Chicago House. Now played by the defenders. Darlarge on the kick. Sending it over to D'Argento. Chicago City looking to do it again after not getting it done on the corner kick. Over to Finnegan. Finnegan, slow moving ball as he gets it over to Crockford. Crockford's pass, back to Crockford. Left-footed kick, wide. Estrada's kick to the boundary. And Chicago House. And Chicago City might be destined for a 0-0 draw. Header at the sideline, looking to keep it in and does. Off the knee as that battle is won by Chicago House. Now at the 40 meter, as Chicago City playing it up. Good forward pass over to Finnegan. And stopping the ball was Crockford. Crockford's pass, now back to Crockford, off the foot of Schweinert. Off the feet, looking to steal is Avalos. And out of play now, last touch by Chicago House. Throw in, near the 22 meter mark. Over to 29. As he sends it over to Waydor. Waydor on the sideline. Finnegan trying to avoid the push off. And it's now played by Nguyen. And sent over that time to Waddington. Jasper Waddington with a feeder pass and no one home to receive it. Maybe a lack of communication between him and Spazov. And Chicago City has the ball now, but deep in their own territory. Over to the sideline, left-footed kick. Estrada and Rojek both working on a 0-0 shutout. Feeding it over, retrieving it as Finnegan. We said his name a lot tonight. Chicago City with it still in the box and stolen away by Chicago House. Great job by Spazov. D'Argento had a chance, but Waydor was there on the steal. Over to midfield. Kick, blocked, Waydor got in the way of it. Up in the air, off the foot. Waydor on it, as is Finnegan. And last touch that time by Waydor. Nope, they're going to say Finnegan touched it last. If you watch it on replay. Let's see what Finnegan saw. Let's see what the ref saw. It's a close call. But you can kind of understand why the ref calls it one way. And Finnegan consider, considers it something else. Yeah, it looked like it just went under the feet that time of Waydor. 
And so no uh, corner kick awarded for Chicago City. Off the feet of Seymour. Kicking it over to midfield. Stolen away by Chicago City. Now over to Schweinert. At the sideline, Finnegan plays it. Give and go play. Schweinert calls for it. Trying to retrieve it. Reading it well that time was Weddington. Kicked out. Throw-in coming up near the corner kick spot. Chicago City takes their time as they'll now have uh, D'Argento with the throw-in. D'Argento now puts both hands of it. Overhead pass and maintaining their attack is Chicago City. Off the foot of Crockford. Now near the box, give and go play and not ready for it as the intended target was Sidney Warden. As Joel Estrada has the goal kick, but he'll just send it out to his defensive teammate. At the sideline still. Chicago House gaining meters near the midway line and now past it. Kicked out by Chicago House. Throw in coming up for Chicago City. It'll now be played by Waddington. Over to Estrada. Up in the air, keeping it in. Good job, but blown dead by the ref. He was out of bounds as it was headed straight forward. Up in the air, off the chest. Chicago City losing meters, but they maintain possession. Possessions and keeping it is going to be crucial in tonight's soccer match. We're at the 29th minute with still no score. Chicago City gaining meters but lost the ball. Wade Dorr. Now back to him. Off the foot of Seymour. Headed over by D'Argento as 24 gets the pass. 24 off his feet. Gaining meters. Double team comes. And good job by Chicago House not fouling. It was very close to the box, by the way, as Chicago House's A.R. Smith had it briefly. At the sideline, no-look kick. Keeping it in is Chicago House. City steals. Chicago City, no-look pass, as was delivered to Lara at midfield. Kicking it back over to the defense. At midfield again, Schweinert will play it. Right-footed kick, finding Finnegan as Finnegan retrieves it in midair. Finnegan to the inside, left-footed kick into the back of the net. Finnegan scores. Chicago City goes up 1-0. Oh, they're going to say went to the, I thought it was inside the net. It did go on the outside. It's hard to see with the sun right in your eyes. Just to the right. Right where the sun came into our camera view. And if it's hard for me to see, you've got to assume it's just as tough for Estrada. But good job playing the near post by Estrada and disallowing Finnegan from scoring. Still loose. Left-footed kick. Blocked. Loose ball. And House... Gets a round of applause from the audience on that defensive effort. Can they hang on for the 0-0 draw going into halftime? Over to midfield, Chicago City on the attack again. We've said that most of this first half. Good lead pass over to D'Argento in front. Somehow doesn't go in again. Everything but getting the goal has happened for Chicago City in this first half. Blocked shot. Ball still loose. It's played at the corner looking for the push off. We play on as the crosser was last touched by Chicago House. Still no score as Finnegan's shot went just wide.
At the 32nd minute, no score. And I think 20, might have been a late number change. 26 is listed on the roster, but they might mean 24. If so, that would be Ramadan. Ramadan's kick. Shy House defends well, trying to clear it, but they can't. In the box. Chicago House losing meters, but trying to keep possession. No choice but to just kick it out, as it was right at the end line when it was kicked. Chicago City now going with a little up-tempo, as it's played uh, right now by Lara. Crockford back and forth, and then played over to Lara. Looked like a ball fell out of play, so we'll reset. If you're just joining us, Chicago City, one went off the post, and then Finnegan's shot went just a tad wide. As Crockford on the kick at midfield, fakes the pass, now back to Crockford, give and go play, stolen away by Chicago House. Spazov with it, but stolen by City. And retrieving the pass at the sideline. Played right now by Dargento. Read well by Chicago House. He had an attacker behind him, but just not enough on that pass to get it through the defender. The intended target was Vieira, read well by House, as now Waydor will play it. In the 34th minute, no score. As a lot of action near us on the sideline, but Chicago City at the end of the day gets the steal. We'll give you the standings in a minute. Chicago House finished in the upper tier of the standings last year. As they finished strong with a win over Berber City. There are four conferences of the Midwest Premier League. RWB Adria and Zarni Jaslo both with six points. Bavarian United. Six points as well, 2-0 oh, and 1. Steel City with a win and a draw. We were at Joliet for that win over DeKalb County where they came back from a 1-0 first half deficit, scored three unanswered in the second half. Chicago House, 0-1. Oh, Goal differential of just minus one. It's been a tough year thus far for Indy Boys Football club, goal differential of minus 15, but they do have three points on the season early on. Over to the sideline. And Chicago City plays it back to the defender. To midfield. Played by Schweiner. Schweiner, double team, but he gets it through. Over to Finnegan. Now feeding it to Dargento. Dargento up in the air. Crosser, header, goal! Estrada asking his defense, where's the help? He was wide open. Easy goal. And finally, after all those chances for Chicago City, they finally capitalize for the 1-0 lead. As you look at on replay, great pass and then the finish. Got his defender second guessing the play. Got the defender thinking one thing. As he got his def defender off guard, good pass by Dargento. And Chicago City with the 1-0 lead just before halftime. 
Chicago City Gold scored in the 36th minute by number nine, Sydney Warren. They're going to credit the gold award and the assist to Dargento. Warden's had his chances tonight. And Chicago City now looking to make it a 2 nothing lead. Definitely a foul. And that was so blatant that Avalos didn't even plead his case. Got beat on the play, but he did have help over the top. It's a tough free kick, though, trying to get that over the wall. And for Chicago City, they might just want to do a pass and then a shot. Chicago City, five meters back. Up in the air, ball loose. Estrada, did he touch it? I don't think he did, as Chicago City getting back on D. Estrada will kick it straight up. A little bit dangerous there by Estrada, not touching that ball, but give him credit where credit is due. Knew where the ball was, knew where he was, and knew that Chicago House didn't touch it. He also had help in case that uh, Estrada misplayed the ball. But meanwhile, Chicago City maintaining their attack, keeping the constant pressure on Chicago House and forcing Chicago House on their back heel, so to speak, constantly on defense. Woo, nice look at pass, sending it over to Finnegan. Out at the corner, Finnegan. And stolen away by Chicago House. Waydor was on it. Seymour as Ian Marino trying to get it over to Spazoff. Now at midfield, played by Chicago City. In the 39th minute, one nothing lead for Chicago City, and they've had their chances to make it more. Finnegan's shot went wide. And a header that went off Estrada's hands and then off the far post. Now Finnegan off his feet. Finnegan and Wade Orr got a piece of that. Seymour has it. Seymour at the sideline. As Ramadan there to greet him, trying to steal it. To Spazov. Spazov. And arm goes up in the air from the rough. It'll be a free kick for Chicago City. Offside against Chicago House. Warden will play it. He already has a goal tonight. The only goal tonight, Dargento on the assist and stolen away by Ian Marino. Ian Marino plays it. And falling to the turf, looking for the call. And I think they got it. If it's a foul, it'll be a PK. Remember, the ball was near the end line as we watched that on replay. Huge call. And A.R. Smith waiting for the ball in the box. And it looks like it indeed will be a PK awarded for Chicago House. So went over to Spazov. There was contact. It was inadvertent, obviously, but still contact, and that means PK. So tough for Rojek in the spot as Chicago House looking to get the 1-1 tie going into halftime. A.R. Smith takes his time. Shot goal. PK goal for Chicago House, and now we stand at a 1-1 tie. Spazov did it all, though, set it up well as Chicago House answers with a key goal. 
And if Chicago City cannot finish it up with a win, you have to think all those chances they had in the first half that went for naught, it's costing them a chance at three points. Stolen away. Here comes Chicago House again. A.R. Smith with a one-on-one. -on -one. Shot. Was it last touched by Chicago City? It's close. But usually when it's deflected, it usually goes the opposite way to the corner. Chicago House not happy about it. And meanwhile, we play on in the 42nd minute. It was really close, but I think it just went past the feet that time of Adrian Lara. At midfield, as Spazov goes after it, but Chicago City wins that battle. Rojak on his feet as he feeds it over to Lara. We've said his name a lot tonight. Right-footed kick, right in stride, breakaway. Pass, and House able to clear it. He did have a breakaway, but the ball was too slow moving, and it allowed Chicago House to get back into their defensive set. And then the ball forced its way to the right side. Couldn't get that shot on net. Foul committed by Chicago City. This was a beautiful pass, and it looked like it was going to be a breakaway, but the ball was slowly enough and just couldn't get that shot on net. In fact, the crosser might have been the wrong decision, but it was a tough angle shot. Meanwhile, at the sideline, off the feet, ball gets through, chance for Shy City, Estrada off his body. And Chicago House, great pass, feeding it over that time to Avalos. Avalos, now on the body of Nguyen, as it's on its right foot. Switches over to the left. Gets enough on it to keep it in as Smith keeps it in. Waydor, past the feet of Lara. No luck pass. What's the call offside? A couple of times that Chicago City has been in the right position, and Chicago House a little over eager, and they've uh, been offside a couple of times, giving the ball back to Chicago City. We appreciate you, everybody, watching the broadcast. Don't go anywhere. The post-game show brought to you by SBS coming up after the game. At midfield, lead kick. And Estrada will just let that go to the end line. Surprised he didn't pick that one up, but at the end of the day, it's a goal kick nonetheless. If you're wondering what Sports Broadcast Solutions is, we broadcast all types of sporting events. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com, and we can broadcast your next sporting event. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Out to the sideline, and they're going to say that City will get the throw in. Now back to Rojek. Rojek's basically been perfect tonight. Hard to be bad at the goalie for not making the save on the PK. As now we get close to extra time in the 45th minute. 44-38 on the clock. As we go by their clock, not mine. My clock, 10 seconds off. Out in front. Chance for Schweinert blocked, corner kick coming up for Chicago City. Just one minute of extra time as this might be Chicago City's last chance to score. Charlie Crockford will take it. Crockford, good kick, had her chance. Estrada smothers it up. Chicago House, very happy with the score right now as it was looking like they were going to be trailing at halftime, but a PK past the 30th minute. Inadvertent contact, but contact nonetheless, and it led to a PK. Spazov was fouled, and A.R. Smith took it for the PK goal. As that does it for extra time. 
more soccer coming up next. We'll take a five-minute break, then we'll give you some halftime analysis. You're watching Chicago House against Chicago City here on SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary, a no-hitter at Kane County Stadium, 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information on SBS, check out guide at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. Well, my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. The other team slashed me, took the opportunity, Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0 A shot, and it's a goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials, Von Air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports 
Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at S Livestream. With multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook live stream and Instagram live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. 
but you don't have to worry about that anymore. Thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics. And we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. What a beautiful shot, right, of the sun setting at beautiful Hoyne Field. 45-minute halves. We hope you enjoyed the broadcast as much as I have. And if you want to talk a little soccer with us, the text line's open, 330-957-7653. There's two goals in this match, one by each team, as Sidney Warden scored regulation to 10-on-10 10 -10 soccer. He scored on a nice pass by Gaetano D'Argento, and then a penalty kick. Spazov was touched from behind, and then A.R. Smith finished the play with the PK goal, and that's where we stand. It's one-to-one, -one, as Chicago House would love to get that win. A lot of draws last year. Chicago City, you would argue, has played better than Chicago House tonight, but uh, all that matters is the final score. As you can see, Chicago House on our screen. Seymour, one of the captains on this team. Um, another guy to watch out for is Jack Kramer, number two. But yeah, I mean, Chicago City has played a little bit better than Chicago House tonight, but 
city is tied with Chicago Hops. So at the end of the day, it all it all matters of who finishes with the win and who finishes with the loss. And for Chicago House, all you got to do is score one more time, maybe play a little conservatively on defense, and finish up with the 2-1 win. one nothing lead for Chicago City goes for naught. It's now tied at 1-1 to -one apiece, and we'll see how this game finishes. My prediction, it's going to maintain as a 1-1 one -one tie, but we could see 2-1. In fact, we could see 3-1 for either team. We haven't seen a lot of offense by Chicago House, but um, some black skeletal defense by Chicago City led to that PK. And uh, now the Chicago House, all they need is a goal and no more goals given up for the win. In terms of goal differential, best team in the conference this year is RWB Adria. 11 goals for, 11 against. They have six points along with Bavarian United and Zarni Jaslow. As Mako Vietsky is now into the match, Aya Marino will go to the bench as Mako Vietsky will get some much needed minutes to add to his stat sheet. See if he can score a goal to make it two to one. Meanwhile, to the sideline near us, played by Smith on his right foot, switching to the left. And that pass just wasn't fast enough and easily stolen by D'Argento. Over the sideline. And it's over to 29. And kicked out that time. Seymour was there. Throw in coming up for D'Argento. It's been a fun one in Chicago. But for Chicago House... They'd love to get that win. They're playing tonight in Loyola. Their other four matches will be at DePaul College Prep. As a free kick awarded, D'Argento fell to the turf. Rojek called for it, but instead it stays with the midfielders. Sending it over to Darlarge. He has not had the ball a lot tonight. Now sent over to Baumgartner. As Laura plays it. Good feed. Sending it over to near us on the sideline. Stolen away by Shy City and now played at mid in the box. Now over to Schweinert. Played by Dargento to the sideline. Switching over to the left foot. Feeding it over to Warden. And off the body that time of Waddington. At the end line, who touched it last? Waddington did. Warden was there, but instead they will have Sammy Sharaf will take the corner kick. Left-footed one, not a great one. Did House touch it? If so, it went off the feet of Aaron Nguyen. No House players going after it, and Nguyen's Inadvertent touch leads to another corner. So tough, though, when you're in that spot to avoid touching the ball. As we'll try another corner. As Sharaf will try it again. Left-footed kick. Headed straight up that time by Nguyen. And out of bounds again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Maybe third time's the charm coming up for Chicago City. So they're having a clock issue, but don't worry, we've got clock on my end. We're at 47-46, so if we have a, an official that needs help, we have a running clock. Head, and on the header, it just couldn't get it on net. But Chicago City maintains possession over the sideline. Right-footed kick out in front, off the body, and just a little bit wide. He fed it over to Warden, but he ran out of space. Great pass, but read even better by the goalkeeper in Estrada. Estrada's played, I'd say, a B-plus game. There are times when he could have made a save, but other than that, he's been very good. Only goal he gave up was not his fault at all, as Warden was wide open. All that Estrada could have done was stop the crosser pass. Once it got to Warden's foot, it was going to be an easy goal all the way. 
Double teamed on the near sideline, but Chicago House keeps possession. Chicago City avoiding the foul, and but the second time they do foul, Charlie Crockford. As we have some substitutions, as Mako Vietsky in, as is 27 for Shy House. For City, I was 27 is out. And then for City, Wayman's in, Rojack will take a seat. So they're going to make a change at goalkeeper. And then Sammy Sharaf comes in for a 24, Omar Ramadan. So Rojack will not get the goalie decision tonight. They're going to give some, uh, some time for Wayman. As a throw in coming up for Chicago City, Crockford on his right foot. Now played to midfield. Over to the sideline, still a 1-1 tie. That's uh, a clean play, by the way. Both players fell down to the turf. That was not clean, and they missed that one. My goodness. I was right near the ref, but his back was turned. The nearest one was, anyway, but Chicago City kicks it out. I'll watch it on replay in a couple seconds here, but sure looked like a foul. And that would have given Chicago House a couple more meters in front. So as you, as you see on the replay, bodies flying. And Chicago House on it now. And offside against House. Either way, it went against House. <laughs> As right after they called offside, the, the shot went way too high over the crossbar. What's cool about soccer is sometimes your best boot comes from your goalkeeper. So sometimes it's better to give up free kicks than goal kicks as the, the goalie can have that nice punt past the midway line. Meanwhile, here comes Chicago City lead pass. Stop and start move, shot wide. Estrada did not touch it. Off the side of the net. We stay at one to one. A big time penalty kick by A.R. Smith has allowed Chicago House to at least get one point tonight if their defense can stay firm. Ball still loose. And now they blow it dead. Eventually went out of bounds. Chicago City plays it on the sideline. Smith was there, and it's kicked out that time by <coughs> Wador. Now here comes Chicago City out in front. Chance! Big time save by Estrada. House clears it. Estrada with a huge save to keep the 1-1 tie. It's been a team effort from Chicago House tonight, but the man of the match for Chicago, the home team, might be Joel Estrada. Inside of midfield, played by the midfielders of Chicago City. Left-footed kick off the foot of 13. In front, the crosser off the body of Estrada, and he'll play it to avoid the corner kick. I'm digging the outfit, too, by Estrada. He's got the neon green. Looks good on camera. Over the sideline. Chicago House have not led all game. Would love to sneak by with a victory. Over to Jack Kramer. But Chicago City gets the throw in as it was last touched by House. City with it. Off the throw in by Darlarge. Off the head. Feeding it over to Vieira. Out in front. Vieira to his right foot. Estrada again. Rebound try. Ball loose. Is it a goal or offside? It's going back to Estrada, so it's going to be offside against Chicago City. It was a very good throw in and some good passing by Chicago City. 
And yep, he was definitely offside. It was two steps in front of Kramer. Warden would have had a second goal of the game. Over to the defense of Chicago City. Now played over to Baumgartner. Baumgartner fakes the pass, right footed kick as he gets it back over to Laura. Laura taking his time, feeding it over to the sideline on the far side, played by Chicago City. House looking to get it out and kicked out by House. Another chance for Chicago City, and it rolls right into the breadbasket of Estrada. Chicago City begging for a call. Right in front of the box at the 16-meter mark. As it's played over to Nguyen. Now to the near sideline. Kramer fakes the pass over to the feet of Seymour. Up in front. Kick straight up. Push off. Where's the call? There it is. Baumgartner didn't even plead his case. He just jogged back. Well, I tried, but the ref caught me. Aaron Nguyen. He was the victim of that play as Seymour will play it. Seymour will take this free kick. Remember, it's a new goalie as Ro Rojek got the start, but Wayman's going to come off the bench to maintain this tie or get the goalie decision. Up in the air, Wayman catches it. And actually, it was his teammate who accidentally tripped him, and Wayman's like, man, don't do that to me, man. Shy House keeping the pressure on offense. Chip kick over to midfield, played by Vieira. As Vieira sends it over in front, he feeds it over to Crockford, stolen away by Chicago House. The win, Johnny on the spot with that steal. Trying to feed it over to Spazov, stolen by Chicago City. Now to the far sideline. Back and forth we go, Warden, the man of the match tonight for Chicago City. Schweinart will play it, left-footed kick, and retrieved well by Chicago City. Obtained by Schweinart, out in front. Last touch by Chicago City. Estrada on the goal kick. See if he wants to show off his boot to the audience. Taking his time. Patience is key in this game. You want to get the right kick off the feet. Right footed kick. Over to the sideline. Now played over to Kramer. From Seymour. The feet of 29. And stolen away by Chicago City. Vieira. Kramer. Back to Kramer. Up in the air. Seymour off his feet. Waydor. Over to Seymour. Sends it over in front. City saw it all the way. As it's picked up that time by 13 over the sideline. As I'm trying to think who 13 would be. Maybe Alessandro D'Argento. As the ref blows it dead. No clear advantage. Chicago City ball. In the 58th minute. No, nobody has scored in this half. 1-1 one, one tie. Chicago City in front of the circle off the foot of Sharaf. Now played at the sideline from the pass of Laura. And who touched it last? Should be Chicago House's ball, and it is. Just a beautiful night for soccer. What's interesting about this spring, it goes from 79 to 69, right at 7.30. It's 
been like that the last couple of weeks. Chicago City crosser in front, had her try, and actually was off the head of Chicago House player. At the end line and headed out by Chicago House. Sharaf will take the header, the uh, throw it. Overhead pass as it's sent to Dargento. Now retrieved at the sideline. Chicago City gains a couple of meters out in front. High arching kick as it goes out of bounds. Sammy Sharoff, he has been the go-to guy in terms of leading the way on the corner kicks. It's a quick one. Out in front, header try off the head of House. I said he played that, I think, as they get back on defense. Try to keep it in, but couldn't. And it now is a goal kick for Joel Estrada. As we introduce this roster for the club. Played by Baumgartner. It was uh, over to the uh, center. Laura had it. Now over to the sideline. Good move. Out in front. Chance for Chicago City. Stolen by House. Kramer on the play. Baumgartner intercepts it. Off the body and played that time by Sharoff. Back to midfield. The defender and Baumgartner plays it to the sideline. Now sending it over that time to Sharoff. Left footed kick. Right in stride but can't keep it in. And another goal kick coming up for Chicago House. Nope. Oh, they're going to say that House touched it. Let me see that replay. Corner kick. Didn't get much elevation on it, but kept in by Chicago City. They'll try it again. A couple meters closer of the original corner kick spot. Crosser off the head. Chance, Estrada with the save. Rebound try. Good deke. Ball loose. Estrada falls on it. There's a couple of chances for Chicago City. And they can't get it past the goal line. Now over to Crockford. Stolen by Chicago House. Here comes the home team. Near the 16 meter mark to Seymour. And cleared by Chicago City. Kramer plays it off his body. Right footed kick. As he feeds it over to Smith. Now to the sideline. Good pass. But they can't do the give and go that they originally wanted to do. Chicago City plays it. Stolen by Chicago House. Ill-advised pass as House gets it back. Smith back and four. Now back to midfield. Feeding it over to the far sideline. One of the few chances House has had. Only goal they scored was off a of PK to Kramer. Kramer to the sideline. As he fed it over to Avalos. And now losing meters with Chicago House, they'll play it back in their own end. Trying to keep it in on the sideline and does. Good ball possession. Help comes on defense by Shy City, but Chicago House with it still. As he passes it over that time to the win. Back to Estrada. If it maintains a 1-1 tie, he deserves a lot of the credit for keeping it that 1-1 draw. Trying to get it in stride off the body. Shy House with the, with the attempted pass stolen away by City. Trying to do the spinorama move. Good play. And now played out to defense. Laura 
Out to the sideline, sending it to Darlarge. Darlarge. Now the ball's obtained that time by Baumgartner. Over to the backup goalkeeper in Wayman. At least the backup tonight. He's looked good though between the pipes. Pass midfield, sending it over that time to Finnegan. Double team comes, Finnegan. He loses it, House with the steal. Foul committed by Chicago City, but you can understand the aggression there. In the 65th minute, still a 1-1 draw. Chicago House on the sideline. And it went off the feet of Schweinert. Good lead pass. Ball loose and Wayman falls on it. Intended target that time was Avalos. At midfield. Left footed kick and now back over to the foot of Sharaf. Now over to Baumgartner as it's fed to Wayman. Wayman slides it over to Lara. Lara passes it to the sideline. Received in the box. House saw it all the way, and now Way Dor will play it. At the sideline. Having it briefly that time was Lara. Now at midfield. Right footed pass. Now sent. Uh, that time to Vieira at midfield. 29 on defense. <laughs> what a move. Got to keep it in. They tried to. He had to do the crosser before it was going to go out of bounds. Who touched it last? Chicago City on asking what happened. And they say that it was last touched by them. We might be getting a substitution soon for Chicago City. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. In the 67th minute, it's still a 1-1 draw. Chicago House will get the benefit of the call. If you're wondering where some of these guys are from, Charlie Crockford from Northfield, Illinois, he plays his soccer at UCLA. Sammy Sharoff, he plays his college soccer at uh, Chicago State University. He's from Casablanca, but we don't know if his favorite movie is Casablanca. Over to Wayman. Christian Baumgartner plays it. Bob Gardner's pass, now pass midfield. Chicago City looking to do what they did in the first half, maintain their attack, continue it, but Chicago House has been better in the second half in terms of getting steals and going on offense. Takes the long pass, instead slides it slowly, but surely to Baumgartner. At midfield, slow-moving ball, A.R. Smith tried to steal. Still on the feet, though, of Sharaf, and now over to Lara. Sharoff has it now, Chicago City and Chicago House. Still at a 1-1 tie. Chicago City, one win, one loss. Decent goal differential of plus five. That's the second best in the Midwest Premier League. For Chicago House, not a, not a big enough uh, sample size. One, 
One goal for, two goals against. And no points yet on the year. But they've only played one match. Out at midfield. Shot way too high. That's such a difficult shot when you got a goalkeeper in Estrada with good size. And we might get some more subs on the pitch. A.R. Smith, according to TransferMarket.us, he joined Chicago House on July 30th, 2021. He's a central midfielder, and he was born here in Chicago. He is a U.S. citizen, 28 years of age. Number 21, Mark Torres. Actually, the match, number 25, Charlie Foster. That's 21 for 25 in the Sunday's minute. Torellis into the match as 25 Crockford will take a seat. If you're wondering what A.R. Smith stands for, it stands for Anthony Ray. He was born and raised on the south side of Chicago. And Chicago City offside again. A.R. Smith, by the way, hunted a professional career through Sweden's long winters. And he scored a hat-trick in an unofficial debut with, Mexico, with Mexico's Club Leon. Final reminder, the text line's open. 330 <laughs> Back at the sideline, Seymour off his feet. And playing it briefly was Darlarge. Headed over by Smith, as was off the feet that time of Lara, now to Wayman. As going after it is Kramer. Estrada plays it on his right foot. Good punt past midfield. Off the head of Darlarge at midfield. Now played by 21. Over to the sideline. Now it's Torellis into the game now. Torellis played on Friday night as well. Overhead pass. Free kick coming up for Chicago City as it's sent over to Baumgartner. Over to Lara. Now past the midway line. Chicago House with the steal, feeding it to A.R. Smith. Smith, stolen away by Chicago City. City with it. House steals it. 
and then played over to Nguyen. Getting back on D, trying to split through the D. A push off move, nothing called. We play advantage anyways if the fall were called and Chicago City will play in their own territory. Off the foot that time of Baumgartner. As House steals it to Seymour on his right foot. A push off, we play on, Seymour. Pass, chance for House, but help was there on defense. Looking for the offside call, and there it is. Seymour pushed off anyways. Over to the sideline, Chicago City. Looking to make it a 2-1 win, but they got a score here, right here, right now. They can't, Chicago House with the steal. Seymour falls to the pitch, and it'll be a free kick coming up for Chicago House. As always, let us know if there's something wrong with the stream, do apologize for the Small commercial break glitch that we had, but uh, we do our, we are pre-recording in uh, 1080p as well through the SD card. Seymour falling to the pitch. Yes, he'll slowly but surely get up. Seymour will not be able to finish this one. Alejandro Mentasti will come into the game. Kick straight up, and it goes off the head that time of Christian Baumgartner. House again on the attack. Smith, he was offside. Alejandro Mentasti is from Culver Stockton College. He grew up in Argentina and he grew up in the capital in Buenos Aires. Chance, Warden goes after it. But it's covered up well by the goalkeeper in Joel Estrada. Pass midfield at the sideline, played by Kramer. Joel Estrada is from St. Xavier University. He was tied for second in minutes played. At midfield, Christian Baumgartner had it briefly. As we're still knotted up at a 1-1 tie. Sorry, tied for second in wins, minutes played, fourth in the CCA, CCAC. His major at uh, St. Xavier is exercise science. And in 2021, he was tied for 35th in saves in the NAIA. Over near the sideline. And see what they call here. Elzate. Might have gotten a piece of uh, 21 Torales. And they call it a free kick against Chicago City.
Torellis. Header and played at the sideline to Smith. Read well by Chicago House. Lead pass, trying to split the D, does. Shot! Tough angle shot, easy save for Wayman. Not much he could do with that. Defenders were right on his backside, and he just didn't have anybody to send that pass in front. Meanwhile, Chicago City looking to answer. Chicago House, they scored on the PK, and they've had much of the momentum since then. At midfield. Double team comes and feeding it over that time to Sharoff. Smith with the steal. He's grabbed. Free kick coming up for Chicago House. Sharoff tried to play the body, but then he got the jersey instead. Up in the air. One on one the other way. But Shy City wins that battle. Dargenta was on it. Now over to City to the sideline. Chicago sends it up. House. And it's headed by Waddington. And we're probably going to get another substitution. 17 for 11. And that would be for City. Finnegan is 17. So Alessandro Dargenta will enter. Jack Finnegan will take a seat. House. Looking to get the win at home. Smith, he was just cornered by a couple of Chicago City midfielders. Kicked over to midfield. Looking for a push, they play on. Here comes Torellis. Up in front, header. Too high. Good play, but just couldn't get it on net. Header, and it was at the 40 meter, but played by Chicago City on the steal. House looking to steal. Now going after it is Waddington. Estrada kicks it away near midfield. House maintaining possession. Hesitation move by 29. Now to Elzate to the sideline. Feeding at that time over to Avalos. Avalos a chance. Pass. Smith, the intended target, kicked out by City. And it'll be a throw in near the corner kick spot. City deep in their own territory. As it's played over to Schweinart. Schweinart's played the entire match. To midfield, header. And House steals it. In the 83rd minute, still a 1-1 draw. Kramer looking for the free kick. Not issued, then blown dead by the ref. Free kick for Chicago City. He's got Darlarge on his left as first time we've said Dargento's name, Alessandro Dargento's name on a free kick. Up in the air. Estrada got a piece of it, but it's a loose ball. Swing and a miss on the kick. And now over to Smith. House with numbers. Two on two if they hurry. Smith plays it. Still on his feet. Shot blocked. Smith will try it again. 
And finally kicked away by City. Off the chest. Smith tried to get it on net, but a good block by City. Crosser. And that header, it'll fall just short of the corner kick flag. But what a rush that time by Chicago House. Leading the attack was A.R. Smith. But it still remains a 1-1 draw. Shot! Just getting at a piece. That time was Wayman. Showing why he's in the match. Big save by the man who didn't start. Corner kick for Alzate. In the 85th minute, what can Chicago House do on this corner kick? Header, chance, goal! Alejandro Mentasti off the bench with a fabulous goal. Credit to El Zate, though. What a beautiful pass. The dish, the header, and the finish. Wow. Huge goal for Chicago House. They didn't play a fantastic first half, but they're finding a way to possibly get a win on their home pitch. That's why giving up corners are just so brutal, but that was just too close to the crossbar for Wayman to let go. Wayman got a piece of it, led to the corner. Elzate on the pass off the corner. And then the finish for number four, Alejandro Mentasti. But here we go, crosser, no one home to retrieve it. And now Chicago House can play a little keep away to end this match. This is impressive by Chicago House, assuming they can finish with the 2-1 victory. Good kick, past midfield. Headed away by Shy City. Wayman came off the bench and he hasn't been peppered a lot by Chicago House. Limited chances for Shy House, but the chances they've had, they capitalize. And Chicago City, they had opportunities in the first half to put this one away and couldn't. Lead pass. He's on side. We play on. Good pass right in stride. Double team comes and kept in by Chicago City at the far sideline. Still deep in their own end. Chicago City running out of time. Great behind the back move, though. That time by Adrian Lara. Offside. I thought they were going to say a push off. And you'd like to see a little bit of sense of urgency by Chicago City. We're not going to have a lot of extra time. But perhaps they know that this might be their last chance of the night. So they're going to set up something as perfect as possible to at least get the one point draw. Chicago City so tough on defense as they were last year. Estrada will give them an A- thus far. Estrada goes after it. He catches it. Falls to the turf to finish the catch. And Estrada, no sense of urgency, of course, with his team up by one and time dwindling for the opposition. High arching kick off the head as was played by Baumgartner at midfield. Stolen away. The man of the match, Mentasti, has it at the sideline. City needs to steal and kick it down quickly. Both teams look exhausted. It's a good night for soccer. Not too hot. Good breeze. Not windy. And actually it was last touched by Shy City. Chicago City needs to get a steal quickly. Alzate on it. 
Now over to City Sharoff. Stolen away by House. Mantasti again. And just not a lot of velocity on it. The coaching staff for City telling his players, we got to go now. Mantasti goes after it. No choice but to just send the ball up and hope for the best. Got to keep it in. Great play. Trying to waste time. Heads it out of bounds. In front of the Loyola local fans coming to tonight's match. Chicago City trying to impress the Loyola fans with a victory at the home of the Ramblers. Off the head. For Chicago House, if in doubt, kick it out. Waste time. If you get beat on the play, get to the ball, kick it out. Meanwhile, here comes City. And there you go. Chicago House not wasting any time, just kicking it out when they get into trouble. Avoid the corner kicks. Anything else, you can allow the throw ins. Past the 90th minute, crosser. And it goes from one sideline to the other. City with it. Now near midfield, in front of the circle. Pass. And pass the foot. Will that do it for the match? They're going to say two more minutes of extra time from this point. So we'll get to the 94th minute, we'll call it. As Estrada exhausted, gets a much deserved drink of water. If we were to do the three stars of the match, number one star, Mentasti, what a goal that was off the corner. Estrada with the win thus far between the pipes. And then Sidney Warden was very good for Chicago City tonight. But the number one star, Mentasti. Not just on offense, but uh, trying to get steals and playing both sides of the pitch well tonight. Mentasti. They're both grabbing jerseys off the body as it went off the chest of Darlarge. Looking for Smith. Bad pass as Chicago City feeding it over to Franklin. Franklin headed briefly, then kicked out by House. It was kicked out by John Makovietsky. He was originally listed as a starter, but a late change before the start of the match, and he's coming off the bench tonight. Chicago City, once again, running out of time. Lara with it. Tried his best on the pass, but not what he wanted. And now Chicago House can waste more time. For Chicago City, they're going to have to clog up the passing lanes. Hope for the best. That's what happens when you let good teams in, when you... When you Allow them to stay in matches like this. Chicago House took it to City in the second half. And a key substitution by the coaching staff for Chicago House. They go to Mantasti and he delivered. Meanwhile, here's Smith. Didn't get a lot of mustard on that pass. Retrieved by Chicago City. Slow moving ball obtained by City as on the pass was Torellis. Baumgartner pressures. House looking to clear. Up in the air. It's touched by Dargento. Left footed kick. That was a tough kick by Darlarge. Estrada, that's got to be a PK. Estrada was really in no man's land. He's pleading his case, but it looked like he got him with the, with the you know, little bit of the leading with the, with the wrist. And a PK, and I, Estrada, man, got to know where you are at that time of the match. Just stay back in the box. It was going to be a tough shot regardless. Meanwhile, Sidney Warden with a key chance to at least give his team one point. Can Estrada make up for his mistake? The 
forearm shiver, and it's now a PK. Sydney Warden taking his time. All the pressure in soccer on a PK is really on the goalkeeper. Stutter step move, goal for Warden. Warden has both of Chicago City's goals tonight. And they didn't play a fabulous second half, but when they needed it, Warden delivered. And it most likely will stick with a 2-2 draw. Sydney Warden, the one-man wrecking crew tonight, both of their goals. And Chicago City, a little bit disappointed. They looked like they had the win. You understand why Estrada was aggressive, but at the same time, you got to know where you are on the pitch. No need to be overly aggressive when it was going to be a tough shot. It's going to be like a 30-degree angle shot, and it would have been an easy save for Estrada. <laughs> Sydney Warden with a key PK. House gets the draw. They would have liked the win, but they get a much-needed draw for the Midwest Premier League. So... We're going to take a break. Post-game interview coming up next here on SBS. But for now, that does it for the play-by-play -play broadcast. Post-game interview coming up next. You're watching SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary, a no hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight, that time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. 
Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other team slashed me, took the opportunity, saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense, and Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, at 2 on 0. A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3, three to three. the power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world.
This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Needed flatbed drivers for Step Deck in Conestoga with opportunity, direct deposit weekly, sign on bonuses, paid orientation and paid clean inspections, $2,000, $2,300 based on driver's performance, new equipment 2022 and 23 trucks and trailers, fast maintenance at our shop located at the yard, 24 seven assistance, weekly pay on direct deposit, flexible home time, dedicated all year round projects, sign on bonus, $125 per month for one year plus one week paid vacation. Travel and lodging provided during orientation and breakdown. Earning on average from $85,000 to $100,000 per year gross. Paid orientation $75 per day for qualified drivers. Looking for a better job? Join us C1 Transportation. not the exact result you want for your love to have the three, three points, but you do get the one, and what's really important is the 